Hey there! In this video, we are going to see how to sync a Notion database with a Webflow collection. The goal is to be able to use Notion as a content writing tool and automatically sync the pages with Webflow. This way, you can write in Notion and design with Webflow. The tool we'll be using is called Notion Webflow Sync. To use it, start by heading to this URL. Click on Get Started. You will have to approve and grant the app access to your Webflow sites. Then, you will be prompted to create an account and sign up. In my case, I already have an account so I can simply log in. Perfect. Now let's head to the Webflow Designer. Let's launch the app. We now need to connect Notion with the app. Click on Connect Notion. Then choose which Notion page or folder you want to allow access to. Awesome! Now that both Webflow and Notion are connected, we can create our first sync task. Click on the Sync a new database button. Then you need to choose which Webflow collection you want to sync. For the Notion database, you can either choose an existing database or simply create a new one. If you create a new database, the database fields will automatically be generated with the right field types for you. In our case, we are going to sync an empty Webflow collection called Blog Posts, which it has the following fields. For Notion, we are going to choose Create New Database and let the app do the work for us. We just need to choose the page on which the database must be added to. Then we have a few more settings. The first one is called Auto Publish and it allows you to automatically publish new entries you add to the Notion database when they are first created in the Webflow collection. When it's disabled, new entries will be staged for manual publication, which means that they will not show up on your live site directly. You would have to manually publish the site when you're ready. Then there is the Auto Sync setting, which allows the app to automatically detect changes to the Notion database and sync them to Webflow automatically. Then, there is the Highlight Code Blocks setting, which enables code highlighting on code blocks that you create in the Notion pages. Similarly, there is a Render Math Expressions option, which enables math expressions to be rendered properly as opposed to just raw text code. Finally, there is a Styling setting with two options, Inline Styles and Use Classes. The Inline Styles option will add styling directly into the rich text content, which means that the styling of the blog post will be embedded using the HTML style tag. Alternatively, the Use Classes option adds class attributes to the blog posts with no styling, which allows you to fully customize the look of the blog post directly in Webflow. You can import the default styles to your Webflow site and that will import all the classes into your Webflow project with their default Notion styling. We will choose Inline Styles as it's easier to start with. Once you are ready, you can click on the Save button to create the sync task. The app will automatically create the empty database in Notion with all the associated fields as seen here. Now let's see what happens if we create a new entry in Notion. We'll quickly fill out the entry and see what happens. If you have the auto sync option enabled, changes made in Notion usually sync within a few minutes. Now let's wait a little bit and head to Webflow. When we open the Webflow collection, we can see that the new entries were properly synced and the content of the Notion page was successfully converted into rich text content that can be used directly in your Webflow posts. Let's see how it looks like on the live site. The post is showing in the list of posts and when we click on it, the blog post opens up. We can see that the content is working perfectly fine and that the Notion page was synced properly. Let's now see what happens when you connect a Webflow collection to an existing Notion database. 
let's delete the sync task we just created and recreate it again. Now, instead of creating a new Notion database, we are going to reuse the one we already have. When we select it, the app will try to automatically associate the fields together. If you want to make changes, you can simply change which Notion field a given Webflow field needs to be associated to. You can also choose to not link a field at all if you want to. One last thing I want to show you before we end the video, let's go back to the list of sync tasks we have. There's a button here that allows you to do a full resync. A full resync will update the whole Webflow collection so that it matches with the Notion database. This means that all entries of the Webflow collection will be updated to match with the Notion database, and if they are not present, they will be archived. That's pretty much it. We have explored how to use the app to sync a Notion database and a Webflow collection, which is a great way to leverage the power of Notion as a writing tool while designing your blog through Webflow. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.